It's a Zora Bora. Zora Gay Bora? Key Zora Gay Zora. Welcome back to <laughs> Let's Play Majora's Mask, everybody. My name is Wuping. Hi, and I'm Felicia. And this is our third dub video of the series. How many more are there going to be? I don't know. You'll have to watch and find out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's one more. There's, there's one more? Just Hopefully one more. Hopefully one more and no more after that. As, far, as long and as I don't make again. more mistakes. Yeah. And never again. I actually, I actually do think these are going to turn out kind of okay. Not going to lie. I, God, I hope so. Because I felt that we, way in the Dokapon series when I messed up with Big Papa. I was like, oh my God. But they actually turned out kind of kind of nice. It's it's a different vibe. You just like talk about nothing the whole the whole time. And it's just like, yeah, whatever. It's definitely a very different video. It'd be cool to actually take a video that you've already recorded and played through with like good audio and then just went back through and wow. did like a, a dub over. That's something just that to, I like, feel like show like how how absolutely different a video becomes yeah. based on on commentary and stuff. I want to do that in the future. Like if I ever get super popular, I just want to go back to my old videos and watch them with the with the rest of the viewers. And be like, look at this. Look how stupid I was. Look at that funny joke. That was a funny joke. Yeah, that'd be a cool live stream. Yeah, that would be a cool live stream. I wonder how people get a, like, how is there content creators that just react to movies? I always see those channels and some of them are crazy popular. And I'm like, how is that even a way to make money on YouTube? You know what um, I mean? I mean, it's like the same thing as like mukbang and everything. Like everybody's got like... I don't know, like their own thing. But right? no, with and that, it's like the, you have to do all the copyright stuff because <clears throat> movies are copyrighted. So like, how can they react to friggin' movies and play like scenes from the movie? And then it's 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 weird. It's weird. Yeah, I'm not sure because like I think like a lot of that has to do with like uh, the type of movie. Like some movies aren't don't have a copyright on them. No, but you I've know. seen there. Like I'm talking about, like people who just react to regular movies. Oh, yeah. not like indie or old no, films no. or something they're, like they're that. Like, like they're like, I've never seen Forrest Gump before. Let's watch it, and they just watch Forrest Gump and they're reacting to it. It's like okay, we got like five hundred thousand views. I like to believe that it's just a sign that they have a really good lawyer. <laughs> Yeah. You know. Like or they just, just get just... like sponsors and stuff. This video is sponsored by G Fuel. Right, and then it doesn't matter if it gets demonetized because yeah. they've got sponsorship. Yeah. That could be it. That could genuinely be it. Um, also, I don't but... believe half of those channels. I don't believe it. Yeah. There there are people there are channels that react to music. It's like the songs. And they're like, oh I've never heard this song before. Let's listen to it. And it's like bullshit. You've never heard Bohemian Rhapsody? Never? Not once? Like your whole I, life. Yeah. And they're like, wow, I, I you know, I've heard people talk about this song, but I've never heard it. Shut up. You've heard it. <laughs> Everybody's fucking yeah. heard that song. There's there's definitely uh there's definitely moments like that for me where like I've watched I've watched content creators that are like uh, let's let's do like a full an analyst on like a, a really famous song and and just break it down and they're like and I've never heard the song and you're just like mm. you went to music school yeah and I know for a fact that the song one was on the radio so even if you didn't hear it in music school you heard it on the radio but two you definitely were exposed to it in music school because you get exposed to so much like different types of music and genres and stuff even mm. if it's not your genre you still get exposed to it so what's your favorite it. what's your favorite genre of music <laughs> Uh, that's a hard one because I really get into like everything. Um, I I would say my default is gonna be um, probably like shoot. I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> it really is because like like i really like blues i really like rap i really like uh like alternative rock yeah, see, was like, like a big thing i like i like almost all genres or at least like a song from every genre but if i had to choose yeah. like a baseline genre it'd be like rock 
Yeah, I, I so, wouldn't even say rock. I would say it's like alternative rock because like oh, I yeah. really like the alternative rock would like do mix ups. Like what would you mix... call like Lincoln Park era of rock? Like, yeah, that's like a new rock. New rock. I believe is what they would. I believe that's the genre, but it's like alternative rock. That'd and like, be my yeah, Lincoln Lincoln Park was huge in influencing me in in like music and sound and. Um, you know, another really great band that was very influential for me was Hozier. Like, just having that that kind of a sound in a modern context to me was re really interesting because the the type of vibe and sound that he has is much older, like blues, folk, you know, and to have somebody like come in in, you know, 2020s and like really bring that that quality up. Like he's playing, you know, music with much better recording gear than like the classics, you know, and still keeping it really raw and and kind of grungy. Um, I think it's just really, really cool to just to see. Mm -hmm. but, oh my god! Did you see how fast I played that? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! It's like speed running. Spe speaking of raw and grungy. <laughs> I want to see never, someone. Never heard. I want to see huh? someone play um, "The Devil Went Down to Georgia" at like three hundred percent. <laughs> I'm sure there is a, a YouTube video out there like that. Is that even possible? Humanly possible? Yeah, right? I've seen some crazy Guitar Hero gameplay of like, through the fire and the flames at like 500% speed. And they, it's just like, how the fuck? Like, come on. Come on. Yeah. How? how do you even do this? Look at the little baby Zora egg. Okay. Do you see the face in the eggs yet? The face? Because last time you were oh, like, I don't see it. Is this I don't see where it the all. egg hole thing came from? Returning the old egg hole joke. I don't know if the egg... That would make sense. That actually makes a lot more sense where <laughs> where I would say Lego my egg hole. I mean, like, maybe Especially if you're trying to... to drop the egg out of the jar into the thing. That, Listen, makes, that makes a lot funnier. Maybe future me, when he's editing this video, will put up a picture of the egg and look for the face of the egg. You should. I'll try it. Future me, you should... put that in. There you go. You look That's for the, look for the face and the egg. Look for the egg and the face. What came first, the Zora or the egg? Listen, that's a stupid question, and it, nobody can it. answer it. You know what I was gonna <laughs> Why say is, that is a stupid question. You, you know what? You know what always makes me laugh is like, okay, you're not very religious, are you? Like, are you super? No. Okay. You ever see like very, very, very religious people when they like see like like a dirt a piece of dirt on the fence and they're like oh that looks like jesus this f jesus is the sign for god you ever see that or it's like if you're making like breakfast and you like your your eggs and your toast like line up to make like an image for your brain and you're like oh my god it looks like jesus <laughs> well i will say this though like as i'm not a very religious person but I definitely do have that where like, uh, I mean, I think a lot of people do where they'll see an uh, object or they'll see like patterns and they'll create a face yeah. in the objects or whatever. But like, I definitely uh There's a name that to that. Thing. I yeah. forget what it is, but it's like humans, like human eyes objects. So like we okay. see things well, that so don't make these, these, these things like human features and things that don't have it. You know what I mean? Right. So that's what I was going to say is I've heard that so many times where like you'll see eyes or you'll see like faces, mm. but I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't see humans. I can spot animals oh. in like cracks and plaster. Like there is a um, there's a ding in uh, a piece of plaster at work. And every time I look at it, I see a penguin. Oh, <laughs> like I straight up just see like a little penguin walking on the wall. And I'm like, oh, my God, it looks like a penguin. Um, and then uh, there's I used to have this tile. Um, this was in like a bathroom at uh, at a place that I would frequent f like all the time. Gas um, but like I would kind of it was a, <laughs> it was a restaurant. But um, okay. I was trying not to say like what the restaurant was. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. really want to like 
uh, expose them. Mm -hmm. But they have this tile, and I don't know what the pattern is. It's supposed to just not be anything. But I swear to God, it looks like a herd of elephants. Oh, wow. And if you stare at it, it just looks like elephants running on the floor. And I think it's so cool, but also I think that, like, I'm the only person that sees it. Like, I don't think anyone else can see the herd of elephants. Yeah. <laughs> And this is why I don't do drugs, by the way. 100% <laughs> sober, and I see a herd of elephants running in, in tile in the bathroom floor. Oh so <laughs> just just put that put that in the back of your mind. Imagine me on drugs, and you know I'd never come back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, I'm pretty sure yeah. I saw there was a news story once of a girl, I think in a piece of toast, that like saw the image of Jesus. And it actually nice. did look like him. And I think she sold it. Or oh, no, yeah. it was either she was she sold it, or she gave it, or it got robbed from her or something. I don't know. Something happened with the toast. It was a whole news. Story. I'd like to believe that her son just ate it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. She takes a picture. She goes viral on YouTube. They're like, "Where's the toast now?" She looks over at her son, and he's like, nom, nom, nom. "I would literally huh. if it, if my mom." brought some shit up like that like look doesn't it look like jesus and i would just i would just be like get rid of it get rid of it get out of here and then i mean be if gone. it's edible i just say eat it because yeah. you know that's what i would do the body of christ compels you so that dude right? wants us we got changes it. that statement all together christ compels you <laughs> like he used to start eating it and you'd be like why would oh you eat god. it be like the body of christ compels me oh my god <laughs> So oh, yeah. for anyone who's interested in what's going on in the video game right now, um, I'm trying to get to a place called Pinnacle Rock, and it's very foggy in the water. I can't see, so I gotta get that golden seahorse. But to get the golden seahorse, I gotta get this guy a picture of a hot Gerudo lady, because he's a pervert. So I'm going there to get a picture of a hot Gerudo lady, and I remember Listen, you were scaring is... me. You scared me shitless at this part. Because you uh, were like, oh, I think you got to get like the, the the super mega ultra lady, whatever the yeah, leader. So and I was like, I wait, always... but she's I, I scared her away with bees. And I was so worried I was going to have to restart the entire cycle again so what, and do yeah, everything so what again. I would, do is I would, I would always so take mad. a picture of her because her face is revealed. All the other ladies have a mask on their face. Yeah. And so I thought that you couldn't get a picture of one of the girls with a mask on their face. Yeah. It had to be the one without a mask because mm -hmm. he wanted to see their face. Turns out, no, he just wants he just wants a picture of any old sexy lady. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's a face or not. Well, like it would have made sense, like honestly. But it, it, it's like, a good yeah. thing they did because if that was the case, Nintendo wouldn't design it so that she would go away and you'd have to restart the cycle. That'd yeah. be bad game design. So at least they didn't do that. I don't know where I'm I mean, going right now. I, I don't, did I, I don't know maybe either. did I not think that that picture was good enough? Did I go get a different picture? I might. I, that's I, that might be what I did. I think this is where I'm scaring you into thinking you need to do something better. It might be. So everyone yeah. with the added runtime of this video, blame Belissio. <laughs> also, hey, my poor hey. swimming skills. Uh, that doesn't help either. Also, the fact that we are doing this in the future, and you could totally edit this down if you wanted to. But so I can't. Technically, I can't when we're doing post commentary. Technically, you could edit this whole thing out. I and can't when we're doing post commentary. Trim. You could. That's fine. That's fine. You could if you wanted, but you oh. don't. T you should tell the audience what movie we watched last night. That was my first time watching. Oh, yeah. So I'm talking to Wooping, right? And I make this reference about Scott Pilgrim versus the world. And he says, I've never seen that movie. And I went, no way. Have you not seen Scott Pilgrim versus the world? How? how? And I went, yes like, if way. You're a, if you're a gamer, <laughs> if you are into video games, if you're into comic books if you're into anime if you're into any of that how have you not watched this this is like all of that wrapped into one and he's like yeah no i've never seen it i, I was told it was good so we watched it it was great was it good was it, it was good did movie. you like it yeah it was awesome i knew I right just... right at the beginning when it was like um it was like going through like the like the opening credits. Opening credits, it says Toronto, Canada. Yeah, and I was like, oh, hell yeah. That's my home, that's my home turf right there. That's Toronto. You immediately knew it was a good movie. Because I had, because I had remembered, no, Toronto. because I had remembered once they said uh, it, I was like, oh yeah, it does take place in Canada. Like, I remember that. 
There and then, so and then it references. went, and then it went to like the main character, and it showed his name. And it was like, and I was like, it's Zelda. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, okay, all right. He st he straight up did yell that out in the and when we were watching, it was hilarious. He's like, it's Zelda. It I'm like, oh my god. Because I had played no, the game, uh, like the side scrolling beat em up game, and that was a good game, mm -hmm. but I never seen the movie. No. Yeah, I oh, love the fact I there were so many references for for Canada, and like every time there was a Canadian reference, Wu Ping is like, "Oh my God, that's a Canadian thing." Yeah, <laughs> like they had fucking pizza, they went pizza. to go eat pizza pizza, and I was like, "Yo, let's go pizza pizza." <laughs> that's a Canadian pizza joint. <laughs> like, it is. I love that. Great. Uh, he goes to he goes to order something from Amazon, and he's like, "What's the?" What's the uh, what, what <laughs> What's the say? website like, what's, for Amazon.com? The guy's like Amazon.com. It's not even .com. It's .ca. So it's so, definitely a Canadian website. Oh what's, yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh my god, this is a really funny movie. It's really good. Yeah, there's there's a lot of really great actors that that were like at the beginning of their career, which I think makes it even better. Oh, what like was the so thing when he was talking to her? And he's like, oh, what do I say? I gotta go or I, I gotta, I gotta pee. And he's like, oh, I gotta pee on you. What do you say? <laughs> do you remember that oh. line? Oh yeah, like, so he's trying to get out of like a really uncomfortable situation and his brain is going back and forth. And it's like, I gotta go to, I gotta go pee or who, her? Like he's never heard of her oh, before, even yeah. though he already confessed <laughs> that like, he knows her. Like who, her? <laughs> And he's like, I gotta go pee on her. <laughs> and then she's like, uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was a good I feel movie. like everybody I feel like everybody's had that moment where it's like they their brain fights between two sentences or two words and then it ends up just mashing together and you're just like, oh I didn't pick either and therefore I have nothing. Yeah. Just absolute chaos. Yeah. Well that was good. I like the movie a lot. What was your favorite joke or reference in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Probably the pee joke. I think that was a good one. That was your favorite? It made me laugh a lot. Wow. Um, I don't know. Okay. I, mean, I mean, unless there's another one that I'm not thinking of. Who is your favorite character? Oh, Knives Child. Yeah, Knives Child. 100%. Is the so, when I first watched it, I really liked Ramona. I liked how cool she was and the different hair colors and stuff. And I just thought, like, oh, wow, like, she's, like, such a cool character. But, like, honestly, she's a very flat character. Like, and, it, and nothing against the actress or anything like that. She's just written flat, right? And the purpose of it is because it's not really about her, even though the whole movie feels like it's constructed around her. She's not really the point. Uh, Scott is the point, right? And he has to kind of like learn his, he has to develop and grow and all of that. But Knives Chow is such a intricate like character that I feel like she's incredibly relatable, not just for like teenage girls, but like even guys like, She's young and immature. She finds a super cool person that she looks up to and she admires. And she thinks that like her admiration for this person is like romantic, right? So then there's obsession. And like, she goes through the whole phase of like being obsessed and being kind of crazed and all of that to then like developing and realizing that she's, you know, like this super cool character all of her own and like she doesn't actually need this other person to like validate her and like it's just a really cool arc i also um, like that the, like none the of the other characters girl, really have the drummer girl a lot kim? too she's good kim is like 100 percent just snark yeah like all day i like kim but i like the barista girl more yeah aubrey <laughs> plaza she's great aubrey plaza is such a she's such an amazing it's like, she plays the same comedian. character in every movie <laughs> it's, it's yeah, so funny she, she's just so good at just <laughs> deadpan comedy like but um yeah, yeah. Oh, good movie good movie and it was then a good recommendation wallace his roommate i absolutely yeah. love to pieces he was good too. he's He's he does such a good job. Honestly, so I think the worst character is Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> he's just a horrible person. 
as a character, he is a terrible human being. Yeah. But I think like he has to be Just for. Dick. I think he has to be for the plot to really make sense. I mean, like, he sure. Can't be like an okay good guy because then you're just like, Golden why is everybody like, dogging on him? Yeah, he looks Golden cute. Seahorse. I like him. Also, the seahorse looks nice too. Yeah, I was oh. talking about this guy right there. Yeah, he's a cutie. <laughs> ten out of ten would fish again. I just saw a comment from. Um, Actually, a new commenter. What's his name? Oh, it, I know it. I know it. I know it. It's um. Ah, oh, it's a Castlevania reference. He's like Castlevania. Um, um. Uh. Oh my God! Fill the void as I as I look up this this guy. Uh. So I pile of secrets. Recent... That's his name. Huh? His name is Pile of Secrets, and I thought I don't. It might not be a Castlevania reference. You'll have to if you see this video. You'll have to respond and see because what I, th I think of Sophia of the Night is like what is a man a miserable little pile of secrets that's what I think when I when I see that name mm -hmm. let mm -hmm. me know okay. if it's a reference but um what was I even talking about Castlevania <laughs> no but why did I why did I bring him up oh because he was talking about Gorons in the video I uploaded yesterday and he's Correct. like Gorons are so stupid and so dumb and they literally will die without Link and like look at Wind Waker there's like one Goron left and they went all extinct because Link wasn't there that one time and I was like yeah but that's why I love them so it's all good oh my god Oh damn! Gorons Way to base. hate on Gorons. I mean, they are—they are, are kind of stupid. And he's—he's he's like, he's like typing, he's typing his comments. He's like, oh, it's so cold, and our leader died. Well, I guess we'll just stay here and die. <laughs> it's like, oh, someone came to help us. Okay. It's like, yeah. Damn, dude. That's the damn. Gorons. I love the Gorons. That's, that's, they're so they're so derpy. That's some that's some some rough harsh criticism you got there. I don't know. I I think the the, the Gorons are like a, a majestic creature. <laughs> majestic? That's a uh, yeah. wow. I yeah. think we have different definitions for the word majestic. What what creature would you think is majestic? Maybe this in... golden seahorse. That's like a very rare and and special thing, and not this derpy fat monster that eat rocks and live in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have different ideas of what's majestic. I don't majestic. know if those are really majestic. <laughs> I understand now. Oh my god, this looks cool. Watching this back. This is a big area and these things are huge. I absolutely love this little area with the the sea eels or I they're eels, right? Or a sea snake. I would uh oh, different thing, actually, same thing. I, I don't, don't know. know. I would call them eels because that's like my Mario 64 brain. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think they're supposed to be eels, but maybe they're just sea snakes. I, I think they're referenced as sea snakes in the game. I yeah, absolutely I love so. this area. I feel like it's super, super cool. I personally feel like it's a shame that we don't really have pirate battles. You know what I mean? Like, like the, boats? Yeah, like we don't actually go out onto like a boat and like fight the the female pirates in the sea. Like, that was something that I always wanted when I, mean, I was a kid. If that was on like, the N64, that would be oh, friggin' crazy. Be epic. I don't know if that's physically epic. possible for the N64 No, game. They, can't, they can't handle the it. The only game I, I can think of with that is, like, friggin' Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, 100%. But, like, you know, when you're a kid, you don't understand these things. You just, like, yeah. you know what you want. And, like, for me, I was like, ah... It'd be so cool if you go out and like you go to like collect these sea snake or you collect the eggs from the sea snakes and then like you come up and then there's just like a pirate ship with the pirates and you have to have like a whole pirate battle. Though like, I mean was, to be fair, Mario Party had a mini game with a with a boat shooting cannonballs. Just saying. That's true. Just saying. True. Mario Party was ahead of its time with the pirate battles. I'm so excited for the new Mario Party. Oh my god! I, I can't wait. I was wait. gonna say, is this your foreshadowing of, of how much you want Mario Party to come out now? Mario Party's one of my favorite franchises ever. Like, oh my god. Like, legitimately. Every game is great! Well, no, hold on. No, hold on. No. He, he basically likes no, video on, games on. that are just A lot of games. the, like, Mario Party 9, 
and after are like uh, garbage, like hot garbage, okay? But then they oh, got, okay. they, they went back and they did Super Mario Party, which was okay. It was, it was okay, it was like return back, but it still wasn't great because it only had like four boards and they weren't that great. And it was like, uh -huh. but whatever. Uh -huh. But then they did Mario Party Superstars and it was like, all right, we're back. All right. But then they, they missed out on their opportunity because they only added like five boards and they didn't do any mm. DLC. That was the one where it's like, oh, look at this. It's it's all the, it's the hard, the mini games, the best mini games from the entire franchise. Okay, that's great. And we have five boards from the N64. <laughs> okay, totally that's great. We're gonna make, hey, you know what? Let's make DLC of like, and add boards from like the other games in. That'd be a good mm. idea and a free way to make money. Nope, they didn't do it. They didn't do it. I really thought they would. I really thought they would. And I was really upset. <laughs> Nintendo, if you're watching this. <laughs> you made a whooping a very sad man. <laughs> I know you're making a new game, but go back and add DLC of the boards to Superstars. Or just remake Superstars better. No. No, it's fine. Just be better. That game is good. It's just just be better. If they they could if they if they they could have done like a Mario Kart slash Smash Bros thing and just like added games and boards to it, it would have been great. So Wooping just officially Mario. got all of the eggs, and now Did he I? is looking for oh. one last treasure before we leave this area. Well, no, I was going to kill. No, I want to kill all the sea snakes because that's how you get the seahorse, isn't it? I mean, I wasn't gonna tell them that. Well, Wait, yeah. You, like spoil it. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure the seahorse tells you that. Oh my God, he spoiled it for everyone. It's not a spoiler. It was just a prediction. For a game that's like over 30 years old. <laughs> no, spoiled this came out in 2000. Ruined it. This came out in 2000. Huh? It's 24 years oh, okay. old. Okay, 24 years old. Yeah, it's Sorry, a new year. Bad. This was a this was a new millennium baby. A Y2K baby. While everybody else was worried about the world ending, Nintendo was just making a game about the world ending. I wasn't old enough to, like, know what the world was like in the year, like, in 1999, leading up to th to 2000. Did people re were people really scared of the world ending? Was that a thing? Uh, maybe? Like, the only thing I can think of is 2012, because that was the other, the world's gonna end thing, because the Mayan calendar ends in 2012. And everyone, there was like people uh, who legitimately yeah, Mayan, were like. The Mayan calendar was less severe where I was, like the people I was around was less severe because the Y2K thing was so hyped up and such like a big thing. Which is such a stupid thing to think about but, like, like in hindsight. Really... People were scared because we were gonna go from 1999 to 2000. Well, what? they were what? scared that it was going to destroy the computers. <laughs> Why? Like, all computers were going to stop functioning. <laughs> the, no, well, but the, about all like the looking at it in hindsight, doesn't that, doesn't that seem like such a stupid thing? Like, maybe at the time it made sense, okay? But with hindsight, that's like a really stupid way of thinking. What were people well, scared of? I mean, and I you know, you dumb, know like, damn well it's going to happen in 2999 when it goes to the year 3000. It's going to well, happen yeah, again. So, Here's the thing. If you have the foresight to know that there's a problem because your systems are set up this way, then you can fix it, right? It's the, sh it's the stuff that you don't think about that you don't have any kind of register for where you're like, oh, shit, I didn't think about that. That's the stuff that's going to mess you up, mm. you know? So, I mean... But I was I was quite young as well, so like I don't really have like a full memory of like it being scary for me or anything. Also, oh, cutest lovers the in the entire oh my God, game. They're so cute. Yeah, oh, absolute whooping. cutest lovers in the whole. You didn't game. get a picture of them for the thumbnail. God damn it! I'll have to I'll have to try. I'll have to try. I gotta get the the seahorse heart people. Seahorses. Yeah. Not people. I'm going to get a treasure chest say, that you were just telling me is I was going to say two money. words that is absolutely not uh, acceptable. So. Okay. Good to know. Delisium's trying to get my channel demonetized. One hundred percent. Actually, I'm trying not to demonetize your channel. Thank you. you really are. Look at how. Look at how hard I'm trying to yeah. avoid 
saying things that may not be appropriate. One of my one of my video thumbnails got a community guideline strike for sexual sex, sexuality or sexual content or nudity. And it was just a Goron playing the drums. And I was like, come on, YouTube. Really? It's a Goron. <laughs> again, again. This is why um, 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 Pile of Secrets is right. The Gorons are the worst. <laughs> they ruin everything for everybody. <laughs> so I changed it. I got, I got old Grandpa Goron in there. Which you actually like better. You think it's a better thumbnail. Yeah, the thumbnail you have now, I think it just looks cleaner. I just thought the other one, because I, cause I was like, he's playing the drums to the baby. And I was like, that's relevant to the thing. And then also Grandpa Goron's in there. But then, yeah. the, you know, it's okay. It all worked out. It all worked out. Thankfully, I'm not monetized yet, because this stuff would... Oh, I went back. Oops. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Oh, that's weird. That's a weird, like, shift in the, in the camera there. Okay. We're getting close to the end of the video here. Look at that. We only got one more dub to do. Dub, 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 dub. Dub the Dew. That sounds like a Mountain Dew like slogan. <laughs> it, it does. It sounds like a Mountain Dew slogan from the 90s. Yeah. Like they created a new flavor and they opened it up to fan audiences to name to name the flavor. So they're calling it the Dub the Dew challenge. Dub the Dew. I just made the money. They should hire me. Dub the Dew. What's your favorite Mountain Dew flavor? I don't like Mountain Dew. But if you had to choose one. I don't like it. If you, if you had to choose one that you think I, would be your favorite. I actively avoid drinking Mountain Dew. The correct so answer. I have no idea what the it The correct tastes answer like. is Baja Blast. Yeah. That's the okay. correct answer. That's the Taco Bell one. Yeah. That's yeah, the one I where. In, I when, don't drink any Mountain Dew because that stuff is just straight poison. There's a funny video I gotta I gotta make you see watch. See the face, see the face, see the face, I see don't the face. see the face. I don't. Damn you it. can say it a million times. I don't see a face. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> I know. Ready, look, eyes open. Look eyes the face. open. There's no face. What are you talking about? It's there just are a eyes, nose, and mouth. I don't see it. There's a funny video I gotta show you. Back back when Taco Bell released the Baja Blast flavor. It was only available at Taco Bell, like it was exclusive, and people mm -hmm. liked it so much. They were like, "There was a dude. There was people on a on a I think a 4chan post that like created like a fake like Microsoft uh, art image on like a backpack with like two liters inside and like tubes sticking out into like a Taco Bell cup, and it was like through their sleeve, so you couldn't see the tube, and they're like." filling up their jug in their backpack with the Baja Blast and they called it like the Baja Blast mission to get it so they could bring it home and drink it and oh someone God. actually created it in real life and like stole stole the Baja Blast from Taco Bell to take home <laughs> and then like year, like a like a decade and a half later someone made a video about it and then oh my god I gotta send it to you it's so funny also, look at these baby Zoras in the in the shape of music notes. Yeah, they're so cute. Look at that. Imagine also, if that's also, how music was taught. With this Zora is apparently babies. this is apparently uh, Wu Ping's favorite song in the whole game. Oh, let me hear it. I don't know it. Do I gotta make it? Oh, I actually gotta. Oh, I had to learn that on my own. Look at my musical background coming to me. Look at that. I'm so smart. I had to do it all on my own. Look at me get this. Look at me get this. I like your go. face just going through the glass. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. I saw that. Look at me. Look at me. All right. So I'm like, okay, that one's over there. That one's up there. And then it goes down and then it goes up and then over. Okay. I got it. I got it. Watch this. Oh, perfect. I'm so smart. It's the wrong song. That's the wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready. <laughs> Round well, you know two. what? That's the end of the video there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.